Hey everyone, and welcome back to the series where I talk about some trivia on the Japanese culture or language and some nuances that were lost in the translation from the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of the episode of an anime, in this case, the 8th episode of Chainsaw Man. This is a term that people might already know, but what Himeno said to Denji to more easily remove his shirt was Banzai. An expression usually used to celebrate something and comes with raising both arms in the hair each time you see it. Because of that association with the movement, the expression is sometimes used in a playful way to make someone raise their arms. For a deeper dive in the origin of the expression, it's literally 10,000 years old, and it was originally from China and used to pray for the emperor to continue living for 10,000 years. There was also Senzai, a thousand years old, that was sometimes used for the wife of the emperor. Other powerful people in history got cheered with Q Senzai, nine thousand years old, to keep the ten thousand only for the emperor. I first didn't think of talking about that, but I heard someone finding that the way Himeno mentioned power as just the theme was a bit rude. So I thought that probably other people also could have taken it the same way. The way that she talks about power in Japanese is a lot more closer than me. She says Majin-chan, the chan part being an honorific suffix that is often added to a young girl's name that you are somewhat close to. This is the kind of thing that is a bit hard to really explain without having a bunch of examples. But I'm sure that a lot of people that have watched a good amount of anime already have a rough idea of what kind of relation it's used in. I'm oversimplifying it, but I guess that you could say that it's normally attached to someone in a cute way. The map that we see Kobini pointing to is a representation of an actual place in Tokyo, but with different names. It points to the Nelima district, where the previous part of the story also takes place. It's a small thing, but with this we know that Kobini and Halai were still in Tokyo at that moment. Just an expression that I found a bit interesting that was said by the guy in the ramen shop to talk about having bad taste, Bakajita, literally saying that when you have bad taste, it's because you have a stupid tongue. Another expression by the same guy to talk about his grandfather being a true Tokyoit, Edoko, literally Edo's child, Edo being the previous name of the city that was renamed Tokyo in 1868 when the Tokugawa Shogunate was overthrown and ended the Edo period. I also wanted to mention that what Aki is saying each time that he uses his nail was Ute, and this can be translated in a bunch of different ways, but it's basically to hit or to strike. It can also be used when talking about hammering in a nail. That's all for this episode. If you want more content like this, you know what to do. Like the video to let me and YouTube know if you want more of those type of videos. Comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff. Anyway, it's the end of this video and I'll see you next week.